the book is not really... <clears throat> How do I say? I have to give a minor spoiler. Actually, no, it's a major spoiler. So I would say... If... Oh, God. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sean, and today I'm going to be reviewing In the Lake of the Woods by Tim O'Brien. I found out about Tim O'Brien from the Thousand Books to Read list by James Moustich, Thousand Books to Read Before You Die. His book, The Things They Carried, was on there. I got that book and this book, In the Lake of the Woods, because I saw this book was signed at the bookstore. And I'm a sucker for signed books. I'd never heard of Tim O'Brien or the things they carried before. But I was like, hey, well, a signed book and this is a top 1,000 book. So I'll get them both and just give it a try. So last year I read the things they carried. I was not expecting much because it's a book, basically a memoirs of Tim O'Brien's time in the Vietnam War. But it's kind of a part, true part fiction story. So anyway, I was very pessimistic about it because I'm just not into like war books or memoirs. But I thought that book, The Things They Carried, was just perfection. I thought it was a masterpiece. It was beautifully written. It was really artwork. It was one of the best books I've ever read. I just cannot say enough good things about The Things They Carried. So when I found out how great that book was, I was really excited. I managed to get the signed copy of In the Lake of the Woods. A few weeks later or whatever, I was at the bookstore and I saw there were two other signed books by Tim O'Brien at the bookstore. So I got those as well, July July and Tom Cat in Love. So right away, because of the things they carried, because I thought that was such a masterful, perfect, beautiful book, Tim O'Brien basically became an automatic read author. I want to read every book he's written. So really impressed me. And if you've seen my channel before, you'll know I do not like a lot of the things I read. I'm a very critical reader. I'm a very harsh reader. I basically, I'm very hard to impress. So when I say I really like a book, it should mean something. So. When I say this is a beautiful, great, excellent, masterful book coming from me, that should be a real high compliment because I don't say that all the time. Now, unfortunately, I think this is a book you do not want to know anything about. And that's the way I read it. I did not read the back of the book or the inside flap of the book or anything. I don't like to do that for books. I like to just start a book not knowing anything about it or anything about the author. Just read it and either the writer pulls me in with writing or not. And that is the way to read this book. So I will tell you now, you do not want spoilers for this book. You don't want to know the premise of the book or anything, like nothing. If you can, do not read anything about the description for this book. Just trust me, it's better to experience this book than to know what the gist of the plot is. This is a book you want to go in not knowing anything about what to expect, not knowing the plot, not knowing if it's a romance or a war story or a mystery or a thriller or what. No spoilers. And that's kind of the way I want to leave this video, is just completely spoiler free. Tim O'Brien writes kind of metafiction, which is he writes stories with some truth and some fiction, and he blurs the line between them. Sometimes it's called an unreliable narrator, and I guess that's one way to call it is because he'll tell you things like this is real or this is made up and you're not really sure anymore what's true and what's not. That's the way Tim O'Brien writes. It's the way the things they carried is written and it's also in a large way the way this book is written. It's metafiction. It has truth and fiction and in the end it leaves you wondering what's true and what's not. It's very confusing. And Tim O'Brien, what he likes to do is basically lie to you. He's an unreliable narrator and he will tell you things like he'll lead you to believe this is true and then he'll say no it's not and then he'll say like well maybe it is. 
And so it just makes you wonder what's true and what's not. I know some people don't like that because they want to know what's the true story. I kind of like it this way though because I like not knowing because to me that is more of an adventure in a way because it allows you the reader to make up your own mind about the story about what truth you want to accept or what truth you want to believe in. Tim O'Brien doesn't really tell you the truth. He tells you some truths, he tells you some falsehoods, and he blurs the line between them. And in the end, you're not sure what to believe. And that's kind of the thing is you don't read his books to know the definite truth. You read the books more as an experience. When I first finished the book, I was really uncertain exactly how to rate it. I knew it at least deserved four stars. I mean, it would be criminal to give it less than that. I wasn't really sure, though, if it was like a masterful book on par with the things I carried, or if it was like a notch below that. I wasn't quite sure what to make of it because the book did not end the way I thought thought it would end. The book did not end the way I wanted it to end. So when I finished it, I had to decide like, hmm, what was this book? And in the end, when I think about it, I really still enjoy it. In short, at the end of the day, when all is said and done, did I enjoy this book? Yes. Was I invested in it all the way through? Yes. Do I love and I don't say just like, do I love Tim O'Brien's writing style? Yes. Really, I love everything about his books. Do I have or do I see any flaws in the books, both things they carried in in The Lake of the Woods? No. Really, I think they're flawless books. So, in the end, there's no other choice but to give it five stars. Initially, I was thinking that this book might be like five stars, but not a masterpiece. Basically, the way I explain it is there's like five star books that are like best books of all time. And then there's five star books that are like just really great. There's no flaws in them, but they're definitely just not the best books ever. And Torn between the two, I really think this would be more of another masterpiece by Tim O'Brien. So, I give it a full, bright and shiny five stars. So, in a recent video I did, I think the Thousand and One Books tag, I mentioned that I'm kind of homeless for who my favorite author would be, because my favorite author for a few years now has been Walter Moores, but I'm kind of on the search for a new author. And I think I found him. I think at this point, I think officially Tim O'Brien could be my new favorite author because I love the things they carried. I thought it was a perfect, masterful, wonderful, beautiful, artistic, great all time book. Then I read in the Lake of the Woods. It wasn't exactly like I thought it would be, but it was still a very excellent book, very well written very well revealed. There's a lot in this book that I just love. There's no flaws in it. I just love it. So it's another five star book. I want to read every Tim O'Brien book now. I'm really super excited. I have two more signed books by him as well. They are definitely on my to read list. And because I like this book as well in the Lake of the Woods, these other books rocket up my to read list as well. So I think Tim O'Brien is now officially my new favorite author. So anyway, that is it. Five stars for In the Lake of the Woods. I'm sorry, I know I have not given any details about the plot or the premise of the book, but trust me, it's for the better. This is a book you do not want to know anything about. This is a book you want to go in completely, no expectations, not knowing anything about the book, and just go along with it. Experience it. Trust me, it's better that way. So I would definitely recommend either like picking it up from your library or even buying it, both of these books. I think both of these books are definite must reads. I would still start with the things they carried because it's just such a beautiful, perfect book. This book is a little bit different. 
I would like to describe it a little bit more, give it a few more, is it adjectives? I don't know. But I would like to describe it more to say what kind of book it is. But still, at the end of the day, I think the things they carried is more universal, like everyone should read it. In the Lake of the Woods, it has a bit of a different tone, which you might not like. But still, I think you have to read the things they carried. And then I would still recommend reading in the Lake of the Woods. Absolutely recommend it. But because of the subject matter of the book, because of the way the book goes, fewer readers might enjoy it. But still, I definitely recommend you have to read this book. So anyway, I loved it. I enjoy his books greatly. I think he's my new favorite author. I'm excited to read more books by him. I want to read every book he's ever written. I love Tim O'Brien. I love his writing style and I just cannot say enough good things about him. So anyway, that is it. I apologize if in this <laughs> review I just sound really incoherent or just not saying much because again, I just don't want to spoil this book. Just no, I can't spoil this book. So please read it, experience it, and then let me know what you think. Did you like this book? Did you not like it? Do you think, Sean, why did you make me read this stupid book? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, read these books. Read Tim O'Brien, The Things They Carried and In the Lake of the Woods. Fully recommend. Great books. Wonderful five stars, no doubt. Excellent books. And I'm excited to read more by him. So go read a Tim O'Brien book and then leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Did you like him as much as I do? Do you think I'm crazy? Am I out of my mind? Am I overrating him? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.